you and all of the rest of you. And you here. too. This is Shot Clock. That's Dan. I'm Jay. And let's start the clock. Dan, first of all, Beth Moens did play-by-play -play on Monday Night Football. Oh my God, the sky's falling, according to some Crow Oh yeah, let's out there. let's not go there. She did a great job. Newsflash: Females can broadcast football it's just okay, as well people. as it's okay. It's really okay. Also um, interesting last night was Adrian Peterson in his one million mile stare at Sean Payton. Oh, you know, yeah. He's got those psycho eyes sometimes like when a check comes and you have to pick it up, you know, your eyes right. go. I think his kid's kind of scared of those eyes too, but you didn't need to go there. Sorry. Um, <laughs> my point is that David Johnson is lost for two to three months. Adrian Peterson might be a fit. The Cardinals wow. can right those wrongs. All of those not wrongs of not drafting him many years ago. Make the phone call. Couple right. things I like DJ Foster, but you've got a lot of the same guys now. Fast, small, not real physical. Maybe DJ Foster can return kicks, allowing Kerwin Williams to be the guy. But I'm hearing about the Cardinals changing their offense and becoming a spread offense. I don't know if I want to leave Carson Palmer that vulnerable to like minimal amounts of protection or put him on the move. I think the biggest thing for the Cardinals right now is getting the quarterback to play at an MVP level and fit pieces around him. But if you can go get Adrian Peterson, I'd listen to that. I'd take that phone call. Why not? It's worth a call. And Adrian Peterson wasn't all that happy about sharing the carries with Mark Ingram. Again, he's got those crazy eyes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, um, speaking of crazy, the Dodgers are the only team in history to go 15-1 and 1-15 and 1 and 15 in the same season. Yeah. They're starting to grip a little bit. You think? What do you think is going to happen down the stretch? Listen, this could be a worst-case scenario for the Diamondbacks. Priority number one, avoid the St. Louis Cardinals in a wild-card game. You don't want any part of Carlos Martinez facing you. But number two, I'd much rather face the Dodgers than the Nationals. The Dodgers play the Nationals this week in a three-game series. They're only three and a half games ahead. I can't imagine how they must be gripping in L.A. because they're certainly not going to the Rams games. <laughs> That's a good point. That's all the time we have on the shot clock. Dodgers, do the right thing. Set up that series <laughs> with the Diamondbacks. It'll do the right best. thing. Have a great day.